Hey everyone, uh, Presidential Diamond Sandy Dury here, and I just wanted to make this video tutorial for you guys about how to rerun your decline credit card um, auto ships, um, whether it be a customer or a distributor, because we know it happens. I mean, th life happens, unexpected expenses happen, uh, we get busy, we forget to move money around, and we know that we're paid on the volume from those customer and distributor auto ships. And we also know that as a distributor, we want our order to run no later than the 25th so that we can be commission qualified. So I want to show you guys a quick, easy, effective way to help your customers and your distributors, whether it be yourself or your team or your customers, rerun their declined order um, once they've transferred the money. You can manually do it, and it's simple, easy, quick, effective, and it um, saves you from having to call customer service and put in tickets and wait. So here's how you do it. You must be signed into your personal distributor website if you're wanting to rerun your personal link or your personal auto ship. If it's your customer, your customer does it the exact same way that I'm about to show you. It's just it's going to be their customer account, but they're going to follow the same steps. Log in. The next thing that you're going to make sure that you do is you're going to want to have to come up here and click on orders because we got to get into where the order um, processing is. And then off to the side here, you're going to see order history. Now, when your customers log in, as soon as they log into their, their, their customer page, right there on the front page is everything that they need. They don't have a bunch of stuff up here like we do. It'll say order history. And when they click on order history, then it's going to pop up what they have ordered um, over the past several months as well as the most recent one. And you can see right here that the order for today, for August 25th, was declined. And I'm going to show you how you can manually go in and rerun that order to save you time, and it'll help push up your volume. And if you're a distributor, it'll help make sure that you can in ensure that you're going to get paid, OK? So this particular person, um, the credit card was declined. They just forgot to move their money, which is fine. Um, it was supposed. It tried to process at 12 this morning, so we have to get it done before midnight tonight. Um, it shows the total and then the BV total. So obviously this person is making sure that they're commission qualified by running an ADBV auto ship. So here's what you're going to do. Customers and distributors alike, you must click on the actual order number. So here's the order number. It's going to pop it up and it's going to give you an option to either put in a new card. So maybe you want to switch cards just this one month. Maybe you need to use a different form of payment. That's OK. Just click on new card. It's going to ask you to input the new information. Same thing for your customers. They see the same screen. OK. Or it's going to use the primary card on file. It's going to have the amount that was um, set to process. And if you click apply, then it's going to process the payment for you right then and there. And it's going to go from a decline to an accepted. How easy is that? It's simple, effective, easy, and you could do it yourself without having to worry about using customer service or tickets, and you can and it'll help push up your volume so you can see where you're at for end of month promotions. So I hope this helps. Um, it's the way I work my orders every month in order to um, it's how I process my orders every month to make sure that everyone's getting paid and our customers are getting their orders. Okay. So again, this is Sandy Jury, Presidential Diamond. I hope this helped you and showing you how to reprocess your customer and distributor auto ship.